Houston, we have a problem. Yes, the propellers come off. I'm heading into Fishcombe Cove. I'm going to tie up to that boy there. But wait, the boat is not slowing down. I put it in reverse and nothing happens. That's odd. Bow thruster. Bow thruster again. Keep off the rocks. At this point, Neil thought maybe it was a gearbox problem. But actually, it was something far worse. We had just motor sailed all the way from the River Dart without incident. So what had happened had only just occurred. Probably, as I had put it in reverse, to break. So I thought, it can't be far. Go and see if you can find it, Neil. Get in the water and see what the problem is. Getting this damn wetsuit on, which is my son's, was the hardest part of this project. Okay, put your head through. Yeah, that William's size, a bit it. taller and slimmer than you, Neil, but... Uh, Good. <laughs> now your chin is stopping it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you dislocate your shoulder on that one? Put it round your wrist. Just as we suspected, the prop was long gone. Somewhere behind us in five metres of water. And that is our spare prop. Yay! You found it! I can't believe that. I felt that the gods were on my side when I found this. I was just about to come up for air when I saw something white. What a lucky find. That was a lucky find. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Somewhere I've got a spare nut and bolt. Yeah, it's, it's the one that's ours. Oh. Oh, supplies pay out. Oh. What is that? Keyway. And the nut for the end, and that is a, a thingy. So, should be back on, back on. I'm not too sure what that is. My problem is going to be getting underwater, fitting that in, and making sure that doesn't drop to the bottom. <sighs> a nice viscosity to hold it in place. Then come back for a breath and do this. Come back for another breath and do this. So yeah, looking like it might go to plan. I think we'll put that on a piece of string so I can let go of it. That's what drives it. It's called a, a key. And that fit all right? It'll fit, yeah. Just giving that a tinker now. Just get a file on that and just give it a kiss. Because a lot of times if you have this keyway too wide that way, they'll bind and they won't fit on the tape, but they'll fit on the top of the keyway and you'll get an off-balance prop. Something as little as that? 
here. Time fettling everything at this stage above the water with a file for a precise fit will save a multitude of trouble once you go to fit the project underwater. See, that's what you don't want to happen underwater. Yeah, chances are they're uh, not metric as well and imperial. Have you got any spares? Tell you later. Since I was using second-hand parts from the drawer, time spent filing and clearing off at the corrosion at this point would really help with the underwater assembly. I'm going to go down to find out what position the keyway is, because if the keyway is facing the ground, then the chances are it can drop out. So I'm going to then come back and rotate it accordingly so the keyway is at the top and the keyway drop out. Okay, that is now the right way up. Do you want me to? First thing I'm going to need is, is this the propeller and this. And to do them both together. Then I'll come back for that one. Okay? Okay. Just gonna check. Okay. And the propeller. That's the prop. Yep. Let's get that the right way around. And the taper. That's at the top. And there's the key. Yeah, I got it. You want to put it in your mouth? No. All good. Good luck. <laughs> Final tightening of the nut, put the gearbox in the reverse. This gives you plenty of purchase and allows you to put plenty of torque on the nut. Next I'm going to want that other bolt and that round pin, the round screw that goes in the middle. And the Allen key? Not just now, no. Hopefully I can put it in. Just a couple of turns. Just pass those to me. Okay, thank you. The spare prop safely bolted on, time to sit, relax, and of course, an anchor beer. What are we doing, Neil? We are going to go for a bimble around and see where we end up. Going that way, and that's about as much as my plan goes. All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Turn you a line. Today, our <coughs> crew member is Sue. Hey! My heart is. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, probably the easiest thing. See on the top of there, there's an arrow on the very top of the mast. Yeah. And it's pointing there. So the wind yeah. is coming from your left now, um, which is also indicated by this. Okay. So if I go too much this way, we don't want that wind to change right to the other side. I'll start to slow down now. It's gone all waggly, so I've got to bring it back quick. Thereabouts. Okay, yeah. so. And whatever happens, don't let that arrow come here because the wind will go on the other side and this will go. Okay, so 
I should be going this left, yeah? Yeah, so, or thereabouts. It's a compromise between going left and fast and where we want to go, so you've sort of got to find a bit of a sweet spot. Okay. A sailing lesson going soon. Fantastic. <laughs> it's like I've always done it. <laughs> so natural, ain't you, Tyrone? Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Get to the ex-outer boy, gonna swing into the wind now and get the sail down. 